Hello friends. My name is Dr. Vijay Bhatia. Today I'm going to talk about disorders of perception. This is part of series describing the perception in my first video, then disorders of perception in the second one. There are other videos about hallucinations, disorders of perception in other forms. What is perception? The dictionary meaning is the ability to see, hear, or become aware of something through your senses. And this awareness is derived from sensory processes while a stimulus is present, that is the condition, that there is outside stimulus present, and that is perceived through the sensory processes by the mind. You are apprehending by means of the senses or sometimes even of the mind. What are the disorders of perception? Number one, sensory distortions, and number two, sensory deceptions. In this one, we are going to focus on sensory distortions. There is constant real perceptual object, that means outside, which is perceived in a distorted way. So the object is there, but that is perceived in a distorted way. And what different types of distortion can happen? It can there can be change in intensity, change in the quality, or change in the spatial form. Let's talk about changes in the intensity. Number one, hyperesthesia. Hyper means that you are more sensitive to any sensation. Number two, hypoesthesia. That means the sense intensity is decreased. So hyperesthesia may be result of intense emotions or lowering of the physiological threshold. For example, a person may see roof tiles as brilliant flaming red when they are in acute intense emotions or hear the noise of a closing door like a clasp of thunder. This can happen in people who suffer with anxiety or depression. What are the causes of hyperesthesia? Why do people become oversensitive? It can happen in anxiety, depressive disorders, especially severe depressions, hangover from the alcohol, withdrawal, migraine, and these are associated with increased sensitivity to noise. Hyperesthesia, patients suffering with like hypomanic episode, they are quite sensitive. Or people with epileptic seizures, and uh, the just before the seizure happen, they experience something unusual through their senses, either the uh, something is burning or they start seeing the flashing lights, uh, they become more sensitive. Or people taking LSD or any illicit drugs that can cause hallucinations or uh, mind playing tricks with the mind. May see colors as very bright and intense, but these can also be feature of intense normal emotions, such as in religious ceremonies where the saint comes and, and do some uh, um, uh, lecture or miracle, and the people go into extreme uh, emotions, and they can sense things that may not be otherwise as intense as they would have in, in, the, in the situation. Or another situation is if you are in love and you are extremely in that love, you see the smiles and colors, everything quite enhanced. 
So on the other side, what is the hypoacusis? Where the threshold for all sensations is raised. That means that the, even the loud noises, they, they are heard as, as mild or even absent sometimes. This can happen in delirium. Delirium is any acute infection in the body, which is ultimately causing confusion of the mind and the mind starts to play tricks. Or there may be defect in attention found in delirium further reduces sensory acuity, like people who suffer from dementia. If they, on top of that, they develop infections, especially uh, which is spread to the brain, that can cause um, uh, further um, problems with their sensory system. People like ADHD, and if they develop infection as well, their threshold sensation is raised. And in depression, again, severe depression. And gustatory, meaning the taste sensation, uh, and visual sensations may also be lowered in depression. For example, everything can be black, nothing else is there, or all food tastes the same. That is the result of the depression causing the threshold for sensation to be raised and therefore even the uh, food and even the colors, they don't look as bright, they just look dark and black. What about changes in quality in the perception? Mainly visual uh, quality is affected and this can be mainly by toxic substances. Coloring can be yellow, which is called synthopsia. Coloring can be green, everything is looking green, which is called chloropsia. Or everything seems to be red, like rosy, erythropsia. And main cause is drug poisoning, like uh, mescaline is the drug, or digitalis, which is used in heart failure and some people are taking this medication and they will complain either uh, seeing yellow color, red color, or uh, uh, green color. Metallic taste can happen in people who take some medications like lithium and uh, metoclopramide and other drugs. What about derealization? De Everything appears unreal or strange. While in mania, objects look perfect and beautiful. What about changes in the shape or spatial forms, which is called dysmegalopsia? This refers to a change in the perceived shape of an object. Micropsia, meaning small, objects are smaller than they really are. Macropsia or megalopsia, objects are larger than they really are. Micropsia also includes the experience of the retreat of the objects into the distance without change in size, although some authors call this a poropsia. What it means is that you are sitting there, you are watching something, and that object keeps on going further, further away without changing the size and that can be defect of the uh, spatial form in perception. What about change of size? Lilliputian hallucinations, there is a film about this. This can occur in alcohol withdrawal and uh, other disorders as well. But everything looks sw very small. People are small, objects are small, houses are small. And this megalopsia, meaning objects are perceived to be larger or smaller on one side than the other. Say, if you see a table, the table seems distorted and one, one leg is smaller than the other one, or just change in the size perceived. I mean, there's a famous example of a, a clock melting on the table and it is half on the flat on the table and half vertical on the side. What is metamorphosia? Objects that are irregular in shape, meaning that, that 
although they are normal regular shape but the person is perceiving them as they as if they are irregular this megalopsia can result from retinal disease if there is a disease in the eye let's say somebody had uh, inflammation in their retina or there was a bleeding in retina or somebody suffering from diabetes and uh, there was uh, some uh, inflammation and now it is healing with the scarring that will leave with the problems and that can cause changes of the size and the perception of the objects and uh, the other is disorders of accommodation uh, lens may be uh, slightly um, uh, distorted astigmatism or there is problem with the convergence the image is falling before or after the the retina commonly from temporal or parietal lobe lesions so change of size can happen in people who have suffered uh, uh, like stroke or bleeding in their temporal or parietal lobes <coughs> that can cause changes of size uh, this is again just the perception the real objective or real size and the person perceives them as smaller or uh, bigger or irregular and this can happen rarely in schizophrenia change of size as we already mentioned that the scarring of the retina with the retraction naturally produces micropsia or irregular what happens is when there is scarring in the retina retina uh, there will be some retraction uh, meaning that there is some shrinkage of the retina that can cause changes of the size complete paralysis of accommodation like somebody is given atropine eye drops or uh, uh, other medications to to where there is complete uh, paralysis of accommodation iris muscles are not working or there has been uh, a stroke in the in 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 the uh, or bleeding in the iris muscles uh, they, they cannot accommodate and pull the um, lens properly to cause the uh, proper accommodation so there will be problems in the size of the perception of the size of the object while partial paralysis of accommodation will lead to the experience during near vision that the object is very near so when you're looking at the, um, the nearby vision it even looks further near to you if accommodation is normal but convergence is weakened macropsia can occur so what the convergence is when the light rays are coming they should fall on the retina here but what is happening is if accommodation is normal but convergence is weakened the lens is not able to uh, uh, put the ob object right on the retina there might be uh, changes in the size of the perception this megalopsia may occur in poisoning with atropine or hyoscine now these affect the uh, muscles in your in your uh, um, iris or in the muscles that control the lens accommodation or hyoscine they can these these are the medications pre prescribed in uh, mental health to overcome the side effects like somebody's hypersalivating we tend to give hyoscine or atropine they can be the factor contributing to the person complaining that they see different sizes uh, or irregular shapes. <coughs> hypoxia, um, if, if, if a person is having hypoxic episode, like somebody suffering from a stroke or severe breathlessness, or somebody is strangulated, they will suffer the same changes of perception and what about the rapid acceleration when when you are suddenly going at very fast speed uh, from standing position or still position and then accommodation can be affected and and the size of the object can be different it can also happen in um, uh, arachnoid, arachnoiditis which is inflammation of the uh, layers of the of the of the brain so brain they they have outside layer uh, uh, which is called arachnoid which gets inflamed 
and they can cause the changes of the size in the perception when you see things. Central lesions may mainly affecting the posterior temporal lobe. Again, these are normally caused by either uh, bleeding or stroke, and it can happen in epileptic fit. So in all these conditions, there can be changes of the size perceived by the person, and it can happen in people who suffer with epilepsy. What about distortions in the experience of time? Happy mood, time passes quickly. Sad mood, time passes slowly. In severe depression, time passes very slowly and even sometimes stands still. The day doesn't go. The person is just awake and he, he wants the time to just pass, but it doesn't. In schizophrenia, time moves in fits and starts. So it stops and goes and stops and goes and may have a delusional elaboration that clocks are being interfered with. So they are sitting in their room, looking at the clock and look at the time. Five minutes later, they're looking again, the time is the same or time uh, goes one hour further. So they think that something is happening uh, with the clock. Somebody is actually trying to play with their clock or make them confused. So there's a delusional uh, element to it as well. In acute organic states, meaning like delirium or delirium tremors, where there's acute infections in the body which are spread to the brain and causing confusion, this there is normally a disorder of the personal time and is shown in the temporal disorientation. If you ask the person at that time, what is the time now, uh, date, day, month, they will be confused. And in milder forms, there may be overestimation of the progress of time. And if you ask them how long the interview has been going on, they may say uh, uh, hours. So the perception of the time is distorted in, in people with um, uh, acute organic states. Patients with temporal lobe epilepsy or temporal lobe lesions, again, that can be caused by uh, hypoxia due to stroke or uh, bleeding there, complain that time either passes too quickly or it doesn't pass or it passes very slowly. In schizophrenia, abnormalities of time, judgment, and if you ask the person who has chronic schizophrenia, what is your age, it is normally misrepresented. What is trailing phenomena? Perceptual abnormalities in which moving objects are seen as a series of discrete and discontinuous images. What happens is uh, the car is moving, they, and it is continuously moving, but the person See, the, uh, see them as discrete images that it is here, now it has moved here. So they see in discrete images, not as a continuous. They are associated with hallucinogenic drugs like magic mushrooms or LSD. This is the end of sensory distortions video. Uh, I will be dealing with next video about uh, uh, perception deceptions. Uh, that means when there is no stimulus. So thank you for watching this one. Please uh, don't forget to watch other videos in the series. And if you like the video, please press the like button and please subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.